Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we have a brand new hero collector for you in the form of an action RPG. This is Girl Gun Cafe. Yes, it's got girls, it's got guns, it's got a cafe. I don't know what to tell you about the name, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into this and take a look at it. We're gonna do some summons as we typically do as well, but I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about this game in case you want to check it out and play it for yourself. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel, you want to stay up to date with the latest in mobile gaming, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So Girl Gun Cafe. So just really quick, it's been a little bit of time since I put a video out. Uh, we've got a bunch of new mobile games coming out. I was on vacation, my wife and I, if you don't know, we live in Seattle. We drove down to California to Disneyland, had a great time, and then drove up the California, Oregon, and Washington coast. It was awesome. If you're interested, you wanna see what we were up to, go ahead and check out my Instagram. I've been posting pictures there. I still have a few more to post, but uh, if you're interested, Check it out. All right, so Girl Gun Cafe. So again, your typical hero collector where you're gonna be building up your heroes, collecting them, mixing and matching, and doing a bunch of different things to make them more powerful so you can go ahead and conquer the more difficult areas of the game and the end game content. So that's just your typical mobile game, gotcha game, things like that. So let's go ahead, take a look at the roster that I currently have right now. Uh, if I go ahead, go into here, into girls, we have this. Uh, so what we have here is just, so she's an ultra rare, uh, four stars is the most I've seen. We have a three star here. Um, you can go ahead, actually go into details and see what their abilities are. She has a charge cannon, charges for up, for up to two seconds and fires dealing up certain percent of the jam damage to targets in a straight line. And then some passives. Every one of these characters has an active and then a number of passives. So when charge shot kills an enemy, all team members restore a certain percentage of their max health, which is cool. So it's good to have that. But different abilities there. You can see her here as well. This is Irene. This is also one of those games where it has a limited roster of characters, but those characters have different variants. So it's a large cast of the same characters that have different outfits. And the cool thing about this game too, I'll show you here in a little while, is that um, as you unlock the different variants, you have access to their outfits so you can mix and match. You don't have to switch that variant into your team to have that outfit. You can just mix and match the outfits if you're into that, which is kind of cool. Um, but here's, all the, here's some of the different uh, characters that we currently have. You have support characters here. You can see up firepower there that is your DPS. Another firepower, here's a support character here. Uh, a, def a defense character here, which is your tank. So you can see the kind of the different, the different um, types of characters that they have. Um, and, then that, and then it just tells you, tells you the different outfits, outfits. So that's a casual for Irene, training suit for Rococo. Uh, training suit, oh, another Rococo there. Cheerleader for Rococo as well for Juno. So you can see the different outfits and stuff that it tells you there. So those are the different the different characters that you can collect. Let's go ahead. We're going to jump into some gameplay and then we're going to go ahead and jump into doing some summons. And then I'm going to show you about the cafe, which is typically, uh, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like uh, having a, an apartment or a room or something that you typically kind of that the side game where you decorate it and things like that. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at that here in just a second as well. Uh, all right, so we go into here. Now you have your campaign, you have your bounty hunt, which is your resource missions. If we jump into here, um, uh, let's see, Crystallia. You got Crystallia, soldier training, part collection, and limit break. Um, and just like just like any other game that you're typic that you're used to, you have different ways to progress your characters. You get them up to a certain level, then you go ahead and limit break them, so you can go ahead and go past that level. They also have ascension or awaken in this game as well. You go in here and you, and, and, and you select your difficulty. I'm just going to do easy, make it quick. This is the team that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go in. The cool thing about this as well is you have this assist system here. Um, so I can go ahead, choose an assist character to come in and help as well. But you also have, I'm going to go ahead and put it on auto actually. You also have, this is a character gotcha as well as a weapon gotcha. So actually, I'm going to take it off auto, move around. Um, you can hold down the basic button. The one thing uh, I'm not a huge fan of is that the joystick is stationary. Um, I can't press wherever I want on the screen as far as what's comfortable for me and move around. I have to, I'm, I'm stuck down here at this corner. 
I prefer it to have a floating joystick. That's kind of what I call them. All right. And each one of these girls, each one of your characters has an ability there. You can see, so I have this one here. And this is under their actives. I have a dash. I like how the music changes. The music is pretty cool, actually. Let's go ahead, get my floating daggers here. And then you're just going to run around the uh, the different environments, the different levels. And I think they've done a pretty good to give a pretty good job giving you a lot of different. I'll go ahead and put on auto there to give you a lot of different environments to work through. There, uh, so there's a lot of variety there, which I think is great. Down at the bottom, you can see your shield, uh, your shield there, and then you have your health bars for each one of your characters. Once your shield gets depleted, then you're going to start sacrificing some of the health for your characters there. So something to keep an eye on. As you're working through battles, you do pick up items that recharge your health and recharge your shield. So keep an eye on that as well. And we just had a, it cut out there for a second. All right. So we just finished that. Boom. There's some battle. Let's show you a boss battle. I think boss battles are pretty cool. Boss battles are a little different in the way of you can do auto battling quite a bit in this game just like you can in a lot of these games however for boss battles you do want to manually control at least dash and move out of the way because you have these telegraphs on the ground just like any other game that you would play of this fashion you stay out of those telegraphs you stay away from those because that's where all the damage is going to hit the autoplay doesn't take that into consideration we'll just stand there and you'll just get pummeled all right so let's go ahead jump into the campaign uh, we should be able to beat this. We have a recommended power level of 4470. If I hit proceed, I'm at 5105. We should be okay. It does have a recommended attribute. You can hit recommend. There it is, high highlighted biological. And But I don't have a team, a biological team that is high enough. So I'm just going to use this team right here. All right, let's go ahead and hit fight. I have my assist. There's a lot of story. So if you like story, I think you'll like this. Here's uh, the boss intro. I think the boss intros in this game are pretty cool. There we go. Uh, take it off auto. No, take it off auto. Got my dash. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna call in my assist and see how quick we can get some, how quick we can get this enemy down. Oh, auto is not off. It just, I was just moving. All right, there we go. Stay out of those areas. Oh, why did it do that? I've done that a few times. And it pops me out to that screen for some reason. All right, we're down to four bars. I don't have my assist. We got that break. Now we're going to do quite a bit more damage than we were doing before. Stay out of the way there. Oh, behind this thing. You see that? Stay behind that thing. That helped protect me. Oh, and... Uh, get up there. All right, that was close. My shield is hurting a little bit. My shield just got broke. Why do you... Stop it. I don't know why it does that. If I'm hitting too much, too many things at once, or what? Let's see if I can do some more damage here. Come on. This is a difficult fight. It did it again. Let's get back behind here. Did I hit? Did I lose one of my? No, I didn't. Not yet. All right. So we're down to. All right, we just broke. We limit broke there. We got one bar left. Oh, let's get back behind here. Almost got it. There we go. Oh, I think I lost something. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Let's stay out of those beams there. Oh, look at that. All right. 
Arr! Come on. All right, that was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Oh man, why'd it do that? There we go. Level up. All right, so level up there. Let's go ahead and jump out of this. We got a common character right there. We three starred it, which was great. Uh, that was uh, that was a, a a tough battle. So you can kind of see kind of those boss battles. Definitely why you want to manually play rather than rather than auto play. So all right, so we've seen enough battle. Let's go ahead. Let's do a summons, and then I'm going to show you. Oh, well, let's do the cafe. I'll show the cafe, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up with the summons. So in the cafe here. So this is kind of where you manage your cafe. You decorate it. Let's go ahead and skip that. Um, so down here, you can make coffee, coffee for your customers. As you work through the game, you unlock more slots. So I need to get to cafe level eight in order to to uh, put another coffee there. So I just put a couple different coffees there for customers that come in. Uh, so we have that. Uh, you also can manage your cafe here. Uh, you have somebody work in the cafe. They do get tired, so you do have to put them into the main bedroom or a second bedroom to refill. So right now, I think I think she's at 100 now. She's at 76, uh, and I need to get what? Reach cafe level eight to open up that second bedroom. You got people, you got characters training down here at the bottom, yoga, darts, dancing, all that stuff. All right, so if we take a look at this right here, you can go into here and go into wardrobe, and then you can see the different outfits that you've collected as you've unlocked different variants of these characters. Um, so here's, here's one here. I like that outfit. That's a cool one. We have a cheerleader outfit for her as well. Here's a new character that I got. Uh, cheerleader outfit. Here's the casual. So again, I think this is something cool that they've done that uh, other games have not yet because typically you have to use that variant if you like that outfit to use for your team. Here you can just uh, mix and match based on who you've unlocked. Um, you've got bio, you've got bond, you've got gifts. You got this is a, a typical game that you would interact with your characters to build up affinity and things like that. Um, this kind of a side game in the game. All right, so we have that. We have managing the shop. Uh, you have decor here where you can go ahead and furnish it and put different different types of furniture to decorate it the way that you want it, uh, which some people really like. I, it doesn't really matter to me um, on that. I, it, I'm usually pretty plain when it comes to that. Uh, but this it, it's an interesting mechanic to the game that we've seen in a lot of different other a lot of different games in the form of decorating your apartments having your characters do different tasks in those apartments, visiting other people's apartments, or in this case, visiting other people's cafes, things like that. So that's the cafe management piece there. The tutorial is pretty good, so it walks you through a lot of that. All right, and that's it. That's pretty much the game there. Uh, the game doesn't really do anything fantastic or different than what we've currently see, uh, uh, have seen out there, but, they, but what they do do, they do well. So let's go ahead, jump into supply. This is where we're gonna do our summons. Uh, one cool thing that I thought is that when you do your 10x, at least the first 10x, um, if you didn't like the 10 that you got, you could re-summon uh, and get a new 10. I don't know if that it's like that every time. We're going to find out here in just a second. But at least for your first 10, you're able to do that. So I thought it was pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump into, um, let's see, 10x supply. We're going to confirm. Now here, we open the door. If we have a cat that comes out, that's a, that's a good thing. All right, I'm gonna slowly open it just to kind of see. No cat came out, but we do have a purple in here. So we got a couple, oh, we got three. We got three purples, so we got three four stars at least, right? So yeah, it's just that first one uh, where you're able to resummon those 10. So just something to keep in mind there. We got a rare, another rare. All right, here's, uh, here's a new one. Very cool. Her name's Moon. Another rare. Here's another super rare. So you have rares, super rares, ultra rares. Ultra rares are gold. I haven't seen anything beyond gold yet. That's what's her name. So that's Wuxia. She Wuxia. I think that's how you say her name. Um, with a new outfit. All right, oh, here's the other one. 
That looks like what's her name? Irene, yep. <laughs> All right, so we did that. All right, there we go. Um, so we do have another, uh, we have enough to do another 10X. So let's go ahead and do that. See if we can get lucky and get a, uh, a four star here. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, cat that came out. Oh, there we go. We got a four star there. So we got one four star and we got two three stars. Cornelia. We've seen her. Rococo. Here's the new one. Who's that one? Another Irene. Oh, she was the ultra rare. Okay. Oh, new one. Rococo. Okay. <laughs> Leave me alone, she says. And that's it. So those are the 10 I got. So we'll see how well. I'm not as familiar with all these characters, but I am having fun with this game. I like the mechanics of it, uh, the characters and the abilities that they have and kind of how that works, I think is fun as well. Uh, for me, the cafe is kind of eh, but um, we, have this, we do have this coastal cafe here where you do get this character as you work through these different, um, these different challenges here. So you can go ahead and unlock her for free as long as you work through these different um, and these different tasks here. So that'd be pretty cool as well. So a lot of stuff going on in this game. Um, I've, again, again, I've enjoyed it. Really interesting your thoughts. What do you think of this game? What do you think of the style of this game? Uh, and if you're already playing it, let me know what you think as well. All right, everybody, that is what I had for you. A brand new game, Girl Gun Cafe. Uh, and as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.